Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am at Lisbon Airport in Portugal and I will fly Top Portugal to Dusseldorf on their Airbus A330-900 in business class. Stay tuned and keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Mehdi and aviation is my biggest passion. I was born and raised in the Netherlands and I love traveling. Today, I will fly Top Air Portugal on their Airbus A330-900 in business class from Lisbon to Düsseldorf. Yes, you heard it good. It's a wide body aircraft on a European flight. That's not always common and makes this flight so special. So stay tuned and keep watching and see how my experience is with Top. I had a short connection in Lisbon. I came in from Madrid and I rushed to the lounge to have some food. This airport is pretty old and small in my opinion. To reach the lounge you can use the escalator to the first floor. First you will see the ANA lounge. This lounge has no affiliate with the Japanese airline ANA. Next is the top premium lounge Tejo for business class and Starlines Elite Plus members. The lounge is pretty small and was packed during this time of the day. I found one table nearly by the buffet section. The buffet offers different food options including some hot dishes and good selection of alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks as well. Because of my short connection, I had no time to spend in the lounge and I rushed to my gate. When I came to the gate, I missed the priority boarding. I took place in the busy bus to my plane. Here she is, the beautiful Airbus A330-900 to Dusseldorf. When I entered the plane, my boarding pass was checked by the crew and pointed me to my seat. 5K, 5 kilo, second corridor to the left. Business class cabin was not full and it has a calm ambiance when I walked in. I made myself comfortable and settled in in my seat. Welcome on board of Top Portugal A330-900. Boarding is completed. We are flying to Düsseldorf. Business class cabin is fitted with seats in a one-to-one -one layout. All seats are forward facing and have direct L access. Some seats are a true window seats, other are more aisle. If you are on a one of the middle seats, there is no element of separation with the passengers next to you. Be aware for this. I found the seat controls easy to use. The seat also has a solid and spacious personal area on the side, complete with a little compartment with a headphone. Headrest is movable and there is a small compartment on the right side for small items to storage. There's also a thin pocket in front at the bottom of the seat. It is hardly fits anything other than a magazine. 
Each seat is equipped with USB socket and in-seat power outlets. The screen is adjustable and the table comes out under the screen. Also, there is a hanger for your coat available. Boarding is completed, ready for pushback. A Tata Air Portugal, in coaching with your parceiros Star Alliance, a Azul, a Sata and Air Baltic, desejo-vos uma excelente viagem. Obrigado. Crew, welcome you on board our Airbus A330 Neo. Our flight time to Dusseldorf will be about 2 hours and 45 minutes after takeoff. Please ensure that your seatbelt is securely fastened, your seat back is in the upright position, your table is correctly stowed, and the window blinds are opened. Tap Air Portugal, co chair with its Starlines partners, Azul, Sata, and Air Baltic, wishes you an excellent flight. Thank you. The safety video was really nice to watch. It keeps my attention. It's our turn now for takeoff. Take off a smooth without any turbulence. Let's explore the entertainment system of Top Portugal. It has a pretty comprehensive content selection with a good number of movies, series and other content. You can use the screen within a controller or as touch screen. The noise cancelling headphones are pretty decent, comfortable and did the job. I tried also to get connected to Wi-Fi, but unfortunately it wasn't working during the wall flight. It was time to have some lunch. When I checked out the menu, I saw some delicious options. I pull out the table and get ready for the first drink of your choice with nuts. I ask for red wine and the cabin attendant showed me two options. Both are Portuguese, of course. This is your first flight of the day. Yes, it is. Yeah, the last day. The last, yeah? Stay in Düsseldorf? No, no, we can't. Okay, that's all finished. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
wrap it up and I go for the mellow. When a table is set, you cannot easily get out your seat. The space is pretty small. For starter we have cheese and sweet potato salad with dried fruits. For the main there is a choice of chicken or pasta and for dessert and chocolate mousse. I opt for the roast chicken, leek and mashed potatoes as main course. All the food came on one tray and the crew offers a delicious piece of bread to eat with it. Also a little cup of butter was ready to enjoy. Food looks pretty good especially for European flights. Most of the European carriers didn't serve any hot options. They gave you a salad or a sandwich. But Top did a great job, amazing. And it tastes also very delicious. Well done Top, I love it. I finished with a cup of coffee and a glass of port. The coffee was so good, it has a delicious aroma. I really enjoy it. After lunch, I decide to have some rest and recline the seat. On this short European flight, Tap didn't provide any pillow or blanket. In bed mode I found the seat compact and narrow. It was not the most comfortable bed mode position for me, but for this short flight it was just amazing. After having some rest I did a tour from the back to the front and ending up in laboratories for business class. The bathroom was nice looking, clean, with standard amenities. Also, I appreciate the pre-packed wet towels. I really enjoy my flight with the Portugal. Crew is awesome. They're very kind, helpful. They came around with refills and uh, smiling all the time. But I have to say one thing: I pushed the crew button, no one showed up. The second time also not, and the third time also. So that's that was a bit annoying. But overall, the experience is good and it's a treat to fly a wide body aircraft within Europe. We are descending now into Düsseldorf. Thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.
After a smooth landing and short taxi to the gate, I said goodbye to the crew. The flight was really nice, the crew was friendly and really helpful and service-minded. It was such a treat to fly a wide-body aircraft within Europe. Only the downside was they ignored the crew call button for several times. I want to thank you guys for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Obrigado! Thank you.